Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the role of ovaries as endocrine tissue. Ovaries produce and release mainly two groups of female sex hormones. These are the progesterone and estrogens. Estrogens include estradiol, estrone and estriol. Ovaries also secrete two other hormones which are relaxing. This hormone is produced just prior to parturition or childbirth. The other hormone is inhibin which signals the pituitary to inhibit the release of follicle stimulating hormone. We shall discuss the role of progesterone and estrogen in detail. These hormones work together to promote the development of female secondary sexual characters. They also maintain the uterine and ovarian cycles and also help in fertility of the female. Dear students, we shall discuss in detail the role of these two hormones in the uterine and ovarian cycles which are actually two linked reproductive cycles in human females. The uterine cycle, also called the menstrual cycle, involves cyclic changes in the uterus. This cycle, human female may takriban 28 days may complete hota hai. Dusra cycle, ovarian cycle, iske parallel ovaries mein chal raha hota hai aur isme ovaries mein cyclic events runama ho rahe hote hain jisme ke follicles ki growth hoti hai aur ovulation ka process hota hai. Dear students, in dono cycles ko hormonal activity link karti hai. ये जो हार्मोन्स हैं एस्ट्रोजन और प्रोजेस्ट्रोन दे सिंक्रोनाइज द फोलिकल ग्रोथ एंड ओव्युलेशन विद द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ यूट्रिन लाइनिंग इस तरह से ओवरियन साइकिल में फोलिकल ग्रोथ और ओव्युलेशन हो रही होती है उसकी उसी के पैरेलल यूट्रिन साइकिल में यूट्रिन की लाइनिंग की ग्रोथ हो रही होती है और इसको सिंक्रोनाइज करते हैं progesterone or estrogens. Dear students, now we shall discuss that estradiol is secreted during ovarian cycle which the, uh, the ovarian cycle which begins with the release of gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. This gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulates the pituitary to release FSH and LH. These two hormones uh, are involved in the stimulation of follicular growth. They, uh, when the follicles are growing, their theca internal cells start to secrete estradiol, which is an estrogen. Dear students, the amount of estradiol rises slowly during the follicular phase till the maturation of oocyte. Just prior to ovulation, estrogen levels are at their peak. These estrogens feed back positively to the pituitary and hypothalamus which result in producing a surge in the rise of FSH as well as LH. Dear students, ये जो राइज हुई FSH में और LH में, it accelerates the maturation and development of follicles. जब फोलिकल अपनी maturation complete कर लेता है, तो then it ruptures. This stimulus of rupturing comes from luteinizing hormone. As a result, egg or ovum is released. Dear students, when FSH, when ovulation has occurred, FSH stimula stimulates the secretion of another hormone 
from the ovarian follicles that is called the inhibin hormone this inhibin is produced by another type of cells in the follicle which are called granula granulosa cells its secretion reaches peak near the ovulation it feeds back the anterior pituitary to suppress the release of follicle stimulating hormone but it does not suppress the release of luteinizing hormone dear students when the ovum is released luteinizing hormone transforms the ruptured follicle into a temporary endocrine tissue which is called corpus luteum this corpus luteum secretes estrogen and progesterone these estrogen and progesterone feed back negatively on hypothalamic gonadotropin releasing hormone which causes decrease in the secretion of both fsh and lh dear students the ovarian and uterine cycles are synchronized when the increasing estrogen concentration during the follicular phase simultaneously stimulates proliferation of the endometrium tissue and uh, endometrium tissue lining of the uterus is tarah se follicular phase mein jo jo estrogen develop hota hai ya produce hota hai saath saath endometrium yani ke uterus ki wall bhi theek hoti chali jati hai baad mein progesteron mazid ek role play karta hai ke ye endometrial fluid ki secretion ko bhi stimulate karta hai jiske nateeje mein uterus is prepared for the implantation of fertilized ovum lekin agar fertilization nahi hoti then corpus luteum degenerates in about 14 days as a result the secretion of estrogen and progesterone drops humans mein aur kuch aur primates mein jab ye uh, corpus luteum degenerate karta hai to iske sath hi uterus mein jo lining develop hui thi that also breaks and sheds down this phenomena is called menstruation however if the egg is fertilized and is implanted an active corpus luteum is maintained so estrogen and progesterone secretion continues ye us waqt tak chalta hai ye wali corpus uh, corpus luteum se estrogen aur progesterone ki secretion us waqt tak jari rehti hai jab tak ke placenta fully develop kar jaye aur phir mukammal taur par in hormones ki production ko wo apne control mein le leta hai at this stage corpus luteum degenerates however in many mammals for example rats corpus luteum degenerate nahi karta balki ye prolactin se stimulate hota hai aur continues to uh, synthesize and secrete estrogens and progesterones throughout the gestation period